Hey guys, how's it going? Wrinkles the Clown here. Today I'm gonna show you how to make a Goblin Good grilled cheese sandwich. It's Goblin Good. So, back in December 2020, I won the Cheddar Goblin Mac and Cheese Contest. And I told you, if I won, I was gonna make a tutorial. So, here it is. Alright, here's what you need. One box of mac and cheese. Sourdough bread. Colby Jack cheese. Cheddar is better. Package of bacon. Lots of butter. Green onion. Some hot chili sauce, Tabasco pepper sauce, uh, some balsamic reduction, some garlic powder, salt and pepper, and last but not least, children's tears. Now, you can substitute uh, liberal or conservative tears if you don't have access to children's tears because it's basically the same thing. All right, so earlier I cooked up this bacon and uh, now we just gotta get it chopped up. So I recommend when you cook the bacon, Cook it a little longer, get it a little crispier. So don't burn it, you just want to get it crispy, not burnt, all right? So, all right, we're gonna seal this up and then we're gonna store this for later. All right, next we gotta chop up some green onions. So I usually cut a little off from each end and then we, uh, hey, get back over here. All right, then we dice it up real nice, okay? So now you got that all chopped up. Store that, put it away for later. All right, now for the sauce. You wanna do four tablespoons of the balsamic reduction, all right? Then you're gonna do a giant heap of some sriracha sauce. Okay, dump that in there. Now just a couple dashes of some Tabasco, and then we're gonna sprinkle some garlic powder in there as well. So now you gotta stir this up really good. If it's soupy, you're doing it wrong, all right? You gotta keep mixing, mix it up real good. All right, let's boil some water. But first, let's add a dash of those children's tears, all right? Now, grab your mac and cheese, and let's get to it. And Shazam, we got mac and cheese. So, I'm not gonna spend a lot of time on this. Uh, you know, if you don't know how to make mac and cheese, just read the side of the box. It's pretty easy. Uh, just make sure that you mix those tears in really well, because, you know, that, that's really the secret here, folks. <laughs> all right, enough farting around. All right, grab your bread and some butter. Now we want to get this bread buttered up on both sides. Now, I cut my butter off the top of the stick because it annoys my brother-in-law, but you can do it however you want. Just make sure you butter both sides. That's the key. All right, now we're going to add a little bit more butter into the pan because why not? All right, now we're going to add our buttered bread into our uh, buttered pan side by side. Some butter on butter action. All right, now we want to brown both sides, okay? But you gotta keep your eyes on this. You gotta keep flipping it and making sure that you're not burning it. It's very important. We just wanna brown the bread. We don't, we don't wanna burn it. All right, once you got both sides brown as a biscuit for $9.99, we wanna add the cheese. Now, we all know cheddar is better, but variety is a spice of life. So, you know, why not mix it up a little bit? Besides, guys, I don't know if you know this, but Cheddar Goblin has 60% more cheddar than leading branch. So, how are you gonna compete with that? You don't. You just find another type of cheese that complements the cheddar, or you don't. I don't give a crap. Do whatever you want. All right, now it's time to add the bacon. So sprinkle on a generous portion there. You know, don't be shy. You want to have good coverage when it comes to bacon. All right, now it's time for the sauce. Sauce is the boss, all right? You just want to drizzle a little bit here onto your cheese and onto your bacon, but you, you don't want to go crazy because we're going to save a little for later. All right, now we want to get this bread out of the pan onto the plate, okay? There you go. All right, now we can 86 this pan and get it out of the mix. All right, now it's time to add the mac and cheese. So you want to get a nice, healthy portion on your spoon. Plop it right down there on that one piece of bread. All right, there we go. Now just pat it down a little bit. You know, here, a little here, a little there. We got a lot going on here, so we want to make sure the mac and cheese stays off the plate and on our sandwich. All right, now we're going to hit it up with a little bit of salt and pepper here. And, uh, you know, maybe you have your own favorite spice, you know, whatever, you know, sprinkle a little bit on. Why not? It's a free country. Go for it. Now, we're going to do a little round two of this sauce right under the mac and cheese. Just, you know, just to get it extra juicy loosey here. All right, now we're going to finish it off with some green onion here. Uh, probably the only thing here that has any kind of nutritious uh, value. So, you know, don't be shy. Pile it on there. All right, we're looking pretty good. Now, we want to flip this piece over and squish it down. And voila! Now you got your very own Goblin Good Grilled Cheese Sandwich. 
hey, if you end up making this, you know, tell me how you liked it in the comments. I'm really curious to hear about that. Also, like and subscribe if this piece of thread hanging off my sleeve annoyed you throughout the entire video. And guys, don't forget to hit my website and get some swag. We got stickies, we got postcards, we got personalized videos, you know, a little something for everybody. So help a clown out. All right, guys, that's it for me tonight. I'm out. Sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite.